Hello, what's going on everybody? This is Maya and Jay, and what I got here today is a quick tutorial on how to upgrade the Goofone i6 that I got from iBaby888. And this is the model with the B logo on the back. I'm not sure if this is going to work with the Goofone i6 version number two that I also unboxed and reviewed. I know that for sure it's going to work for this model and it's actually very easy guys. The first thing you have to do is download these two zip files as you see on my screen. Uh, one of them is going to be the ROM and the other one is going to be the flashing tool. So we can see right here, I'll be providing the link below. So what you do is once you have them on your desktop, you have to extract them into a folder for the ROM. You have to create this folder called Goofone i6. Then you right click it and then the next thing you're going to select is extract files. You have to on your desktop find the actual folder which uh, you created. In my case, it's going to be the Goofone i6. Then you select OK and that's going to be the end of the process there. Then the same thing you're going to do for the SP Flash tool as we can see right here. But the great thing is that when you open it, you're going to notice that this already comes in a folder. So pretty much all you have to do without the need of creating a folder, you just go ahead and right click it. And this time you're going to select extract here. Now, once you do that, you're going to see these two files and one of them is going to have the information for the ROM and whatnot. And then the other one is going to have the SP Flash tools and this is going to be used to flash it. So what you do is assuming that you have already installed the actual uh, drivers for the MTK6582 on your PC, the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and open here the software. You're going to open SP Flash tools. What you're going to do is you're going to right click it. Actually, you got to highlight it, right click it, then run as administrator. You're going to select yes. Once you open this program, what you're going to do next is go here where it says scatter loading. You're going to click it and now you have to find on your desktop the folder that you created uh, for the goof on i6 as we can see right here. So once you open it, you should see this file called MTK6582 Android Scatter. You open it and then you're going to see the same page as I have right here. Next thing, what you're going to do is you're going to drop down this little arrow and you're going to click where it says firmware upgrade. Now before you do anything or even before you connect the actual phone to the PC, what you have to do is you're going to select um, the download button right here. Now before we upgrade, I just want to show you guys around the operating system. Here we can see that the UI looks very similar to iOS 7, but it's actually very different. It doesn't even look similar to iOS 8. It's very weird and it's actually pretty cool. Here we have the music application. We have Safari. We have the email application. We also have the phones application. If you drop down here, we can see that the uh, notification settings are very different as well, guys. And again, it is a very cool operating system. And for those who are interested, you can definitely flash it. Again, I'm only doing it on the one with the B logo. Now, this was released on August 26th, so there might be future upgrades as well. So that being said, what we're going to do next is go ahead and turn it off. Okay, and now that your phone is completely off, what you're going to do is go ahead and connect it to your PC. And it should start doing the magic. As we can notice right here, first you're going to see a red line. Then I believe you're going to see a green line and then purple and then it should be yellow at the end. Okay guys, so here we can see that the process has finished. We see here the uh, green circle with a check mark. That's definitely great. That means that the flashing was successful. Next thing you do is go ahead and disconnect the device from the computer. Now we're going to go ahead and power on and see if we actually flashed it successfully. Once you disconnect the device from the computer, the first boot is going to take between two to three minutes as we can see right here. Right now we have the Goof on logo and it has booted up already guys and this is the same thing as I showed you before. Now the great thing about this operating system that it does come already with a Play Store right here and all your contacts will be synced. You don't have to do any type of modification to the system. However, I have not tested the GPS but it does come with the Google Maps as we can see here as well. So it is a very cool operating system guys and when we go here to settings, we go to general. We go to about device. This is all the system information that we see on the actual device. Well, that being said, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you do have any questions, please don't forget to comment down below. Please like the video, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and have a good one.